Okay, we're in photos now. It's a little icon with the sunflower on it. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of photos in my iPad here. So these are my main photos. A lot of them are ones I took with my camera app. And that's where it automatically puts all photos. Anytime you take a picture with your camera app, they will be in here. Also, any app that you're using that allows you to take pictures, it saves them into your photos. Photo stream, and I've got a bunch of random photos in here, but these are all photos that are on my stream, which means they're synced automatically with my other devices. Here's my albums, and here's my camera roll. You know, here's some flower pictures, and these are albums that I've put together. Truthfully, these are albums I put together on my Mac, and when I asked them to sync with this, it put them in. Events are things at different times. Places are things I've shot, and I don't have... You'll notice a map pops up, and anytime I click on one of the red push pins, it's going to take me to all the pictures I took in that location. For example, here's a workshop I did with Army Wives over at Fort M Riley Military Base. That's the General's house, by the way. So there's all my photos. You'll notice I could come right up here to the top corner, and I could turn this into an automatic slideshow. Um, there's some built-in music, but there's ways to change that music, too. Probably not the absolute best way to make a slideshow, but possible. There's that little magic symbol again, the little square with the curved arrow in it. When I click on it, hold on a second, let me get back. Okay, I was in my map, so let me get back to my photos over here and get to this. So right now... When I clicked on it, I have the opportunity, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, to share, copy, or delete. Okay, Or I can say add to and make an album of those photos. So what you have to remember is you have to select something before those buttons are illuminated. Now you can do pretty much anything you want to do. The most important way you'll use this is in the different apps you're using that require photos, you will want, you'll find those photos located here. Now there is one important factor that you do need to know. You must have location services turned on for any app that needs to access your photos. Otherwise it won't be able to find them. Okay, that's about it for photos.